everybody, it's me, Mark of Melox Inks, and today we're gonna talk about protection. Protection of that thing here, the sun. Okay, let's start off by if you're using Instax, you're kinda safe. They do that right. No problem with sunlight or shooting in sunlight, and when the film comes out, with overexposing the image or having it exposed afterwards. But if you're shooting with PO, we have to figure it out now. So let's jump back in, in history, like four years, five years, six years, seven years, when Impossible opened up the company and started selling film. Okay, so the biggest problem was that their film, when it came out of the camera, was still really light sensitive, because the protective layer didn't work that well. So as soon as the film came out of the camera, you needed to cover it with something. That's where this frog tongue comes from, like that black thing that covers your film. I don't know if you can still buy that frog tongue, but if so, I will link it below. Really important if you're still shooting impossible film and have old storage and using it. I, I had like the first packs of film I shot with Polaroid, uh, with impossible material. I didn't know that. <laughs> Nobody told me. Sarah, if you're watching that video, I blame you. So I, I kind of messed up a lot of money and memories just by didn't knowing that you have to cover them and like I, I was wondering why it was so white and PO develops further and further. And now they have really good film quality. And I think we are at the point where we can put that frog tongue away if they are not messing up with the next, next production. This video is only based on the current production of PO film. How is that image actually built? So the image has multiple layers and on top there is a protective layer that's the blue layer that clears after a while. So actually images develop pretty fast but that blue layer that needs to go away to for you to see your image. That's the protective layer. And if this layer is not strong enough or anything, your image could get be like could get a lot of light on it and then could be exposed again. Or like okay, so just think about it. If you have your Polaroid in the camera, it's in there, it's in a dark environment, and you open the lens, it is get exposed. You close the lens, the exposure stops. That's the amount of time light comes into the camera and on the film. But the moment it starts going out of the camera, the chemistry spread over the film, but the film layer negative, that's exactly the same. So we have this image that's in the camera laying like this, and it comes out of the camera, it's still exactly the same way. You have to keep that in mind. Film comes out, the negative is exposed to extreme sunlight. If we're like here with really hard sunlight, I'm sitting in the shadow luckily, that image will get exposed. That's ton of light here. So it is important that the image is covered with some protection. I don't know what, but with some protection when it comes out of the camera. And PO finally managed to bring out a film that is really good with that. I still suggest having a frog tongue with nothing that bothers, because it's as soon as I put that image away, the frog tongue rolls back into the camera. It doesn't disturb me, it's just there. So we can use that frog tongue always just to have a backup if the next production fails or has some, some issues. They had like ups and downs in the last few years, so we don't know what comes next. If it's loud, I'm sitting outside and there's a construction. Like one week ago, <laughs> or even longer, we had a little Instagram story showing you these two images. And I asked you what's the difference, what did I do different on these two pictures? And most of you were guessing on temperature, which is, I thought, kind of right, but actually it, it, it really it's not that right. I was measuring the temperature later with the same idea and the temperature didn't change too much on the color. It was actually the, the difference was one is covered with the frog tongue and one is not. I guess you can already know which one is covered. The one was covered. But the difference wasn't the first seconds when it came out. This one was lying in straight sunlight, like back here, Ooh, straight sunlight, for about the whole developing time. So that changed it a lot and it made it a lot warmer. But if you compare these two again, the biggest difference is the color. The contrast and everything is kind of the same, in my opinion. The difference is, still again, we have a different tint in color. So exposing it to light while developing gives you a warmer tint, which you could use to your benefit. So you could all use that as a great, like kind of to manipulate your image to give that a warmer co color or a colder color, just by putting it in, into bright light while, while developing or covering it. The other one was just in my bag, covered completely and like no sunlight. That was one option. 
take a look at the frog tongue. The frog tongue is kind of mounted to the camera. Could be that you have already one of the camera, could be that you don't. If you have one step two, it's already mounted there. And the image comes out and stays under the frog tongue here. And I would leave it there for, let's say, 30 seconds after it comes out. But that's after that test, not really necessary. I didn't change anything, I pulled it out immediately. No, no difference. And when I pull it out, like this, frog tongue just rolls up and doesn't disturb you while taking pictures. So let's put in one more film. Uh, that's gonna be black and white, and we're gonna do the test again. We're gonna make one picture with the dark slide, like with the frog tongue, and one that doesn't cover. So I, I normally underexpose every image nowadays. I think it's kind of just better or working a little bit better like this. So we're gonna wait for some more sun. I think the cloud is moving away now. And then we're gonna take two images. So while we wait, let me tell you of my nice experience. Some of you may have heard. Uh, oh, you can't even see it anymore. Already. I still have like a few stitches here. Oh, that looks nice. Why there was no video was because I had a bike accident two weeks back and I got my bruiser something. I love the, the, the German word, it's Schleimbeutel. And it kind of translates to slime bag, which is like the thing that you have in your elbow that kind of um, cushions the joint. And they kind of they had to remove it because I hit it hard and trashed it. So yeah, can't really bend that arm over this much. And like, so sun is out again. Let's take two images. Let's take the first one. And I kind of want to shoot these buildings over there. It looks kind of cool. Not gonna use the flash. So holding the flash button in the back while shooting and we gotta try to frame it exactly the same. So first one, we leave it under the frog tank for quite a time and then we're gonna put it in the back, in the back, back, not back, okay, don't get that wrong, don't get that wrong. Out of the frog tank you just take it on the side, and just like pull it and immediately pull it somewhere where it's dark so it's covered. The light stays the same, I'm gonna take the image again but now I'm gonna hold the frog tongue back so it's not covering anything. So same setup, no flash and same composition and it comes out directly in the sunlight and we're gonna take it like this and put it over there where there's sun. So the picture is right here in a really sunny space and it's getting developed. We will see what comes out here. kind of wanted to talk with you guys about the community. Um, maybe some of you saw it on the 10k video. I made a discord server which is up and running already and there's some really nice people there helping each other and if you have quick support questions which are really hard for me to answer on YouTube comments because you can't post images or anything uh, or videos and multiple messages take quite a while for me to comment back and forward. You can just join Discord, the link will be in the description below again. Have a conversation with us. There's different channels on the left side that you will see, there's support, there's photo stream where you can just post photos of yours and get feedback from some people. Um, there is a support channel for common support of everything. There is a not safe for work section if you have new tutes or stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff. Join Discord, the community is nice, nice people there, really helpful people. And like when I did that shout out on Instagram, like which thing I did, also in a kind of like a mate, I don't know how to, to spell your name, but check out his Instagram feed, that's this one here. He was the only one to guess it right, I think Felipe also had it right, I don't know. But these, are, these two are pretty active on Discord and they got it right. And they're really helpful, they're like people there, Kaigo also is really supportive, he also has a YouTube channel, you should check it out, he's a cool guy and he's helping me to get an RB67 at the moment to to Instax Square with it. So Kaigo, thanks a lot, shout out to you, check out his YouTube channel, um, pretty awesome guy and I hope that camera comes soon over. I guess that's it for today, but let's take a look at the last image. I don't know what, but the one being in the sunlight, can you see the difference? Let me just pull it over each other, maybe it still needs to develop a little bit more. The one that has been sitting in the sunlight has more contrast than the one sitting in the shadow. I don't get it. <laughs> it should be like this. Like this should be the one in the sun, and this should be the one in the shadow. But it's completely the opposite. The framing is pretty similar. I don't think that's the big difference. So, overall, I, I think the, 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 the covering is not important anymore. That they managed to have a good protective layer that fades away after time. And you're pretty safe, you don't have a frog tongue. If you have one, keep using it first, just for safety in the future. If they will change something on the film and I will find it out, I will let you guys know. Hope you liked the video. If you did, 
thumbs up if you didn't, thumbs down. If you want to see more content, subscribe. And I got a really cool parcel today from Aperture. Uh, maybe you know them, uh, like Peter McKinnon, Matty from Travel Fields and all the, these people use them. They are um, LED based lights and they're really strong. And they sent me their flagship model, uh, a demo model just to test. And I want to see if we can actually shoot on LED lights without flash with our S670 or 600 camera so we have like a controlled studio environment. It's really hard to shoot with flash with polar cameras but continuous light works pretty amazing. Hope to see you next week. Bye!